Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a colouring chat video because I haven't done one in a while. Um, I've not been able to film with current circumstances. Um, so my lives and my colouring chats have uh, been minimal. I haven't been doing a lot of them so I do apologise for that. Now the book what I'm going to be doing the colouring chat in is the Disney Villa Trellis. Vitralis so I think it's the Disney Vitralis and I do apologize because I'm probably pronouncing that totally wrong because it is French but it does translate to um, Disney's stained glass which the inspiration is from Disney Paris the Sleeping Beauty Castle where they have got some Disney stained glass now I haven't been myself I've just looked this bit of information up uh, but that's all that's all I know really because I haven't actually visited Disney Paris. So it is actually also known as the Hatchet Heroes as well, which is um I think pretty familiar within the Disney books. I know they have got other books uh, called Hatchet Heroes. Uh, anyway, so I seen this book flip through um, from Colouring K. So Colouring K's YouTube channel, if you haven't already, definitely go check her out and subscribe. Um, it's a lovely colouring channel, she does flip throughs. Um, she's also done colouring chats, or I think she's done time lapse videos uh, and coloured pages. But yeah, I've seen the video and seen the flip through and I really like the look of the book. And at the time, I'd only just ordered two Disney books which were the classic and the friends um if you look on me uh, videos it was the last video i did if you want to see a flip through of them two books so i decided to get the book and i received the book yesterday and my gosh the book is absolutely huge it is a really big book it is so tall the video and the camera doesn't do it justice it I have actually watched a few um, videos about this book and I've looked at a few coloured pictures that have been done on Instagram and when I received the book yesterday it came in this massive box and I was like oh my god why is it coming in the box that big and I opened it and now I couldn't believe it. I don't even know where I'm going to start it but anyway it is absolutely gorgeous. I am going to be doing a flip, uh, a flip view review of this book on my channel because I think it deserves one. So the page that I've picked, which I've already tested a bit of the colours that I'm using because I haven't done a picture um, like this before. I've never really done it piece by piece. So I'm going to have to change the way I colour so I'm going to be switching my dark to light uh, positions sort of thing which I will show you so the colour I'm going to zoom you in because I'm doing the face but as you can see the page is massive so the colours that I'm using are the Arteza pencils the coloured pencils and I've picked these for some different and plus I have got the 120 set of watercolour pencils which match in colour um, if I want to do some of the edges in watercolour and this paper is really good and it's going to take it, it is really, it's quite thick it's sturdy paper, um, on it thing obviously alcohol markers have bleed through right so the colours that I'm using a yellow ochre Turmeric yellow, and I hope I'm pronouncing these right. I'm really bad at pronouncing stuff. And then we've got the lemon yellow. And I have got the ginger, and this is just to add lightly, bit, lightly a bit of the colour down at the end. Right, so what I've been doing is as you can see here yeah, i've gone from dark to light dark to light then when i've come to the top of the head i've switched it up a bit i've gone from dark to light this way so this is lengthways dark to light and then i've done it widthways dark to light so i'm just going to be switching the uh, 
squares around a bit to what I think could suit this picture. So, let me turn the book around. Like I said, it is a really big book. Right, so same again. Maybe I'm actually going to do it this way from here because it's flat at the top. So just with a light pressure. I think these pencils are really good for uh, layering, building your pressure up on your pencil. Uh, on paper, sorry. I'm gonna go in with actually I'm gonna fetch it a little bit further down and then I'm gonna go in with my second colour so as usual I'm just working dark to light you all know that if you've watched my videos I always work dark to light I find it easiest and then if I'm wanting to blend back over I'll just go light to dark or over my colours so I really like these uh, Arteza coloured pencils and I actually prefer them um, using them um, I must, I dare say, than the polychromos. I find myself reaching to these more than the polychromos. I don't know why. I just really like using them. And as you can see, the really bright pigments are really lovely on them. Right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this ginger. Now, when I'm adding this, I'm not putting a lot of pressure down because I'm not wanting it to look brown so just slight pressure just enough to give it a bit of colour it down a bit and I always do put a little bit more pressure on when I'm right at the edge line and then I just blend it with my lightest colour Right, so now we're moving on to this little section here. So instead of going dark to light, I'm going to do it lengthways and I'm going to do dark here, light towards this bottom bit. Uh, just switch, keep switching it around. Um, I want the orca. I nearly went straight in with ginger then. Yeah, so I do apologise if I've not been able to film a lot. I'm sure things will get back to normal soon and I'll be able to do my filming a bit more because um, my partner's wanting to do live exercise workouts and then I'm wanting to film. So it's not really... It's having the time to do it. 
because obviously there's stuff that needs to be done the house in between so then when we have got time we're both arguing with who's doing what <laughs> but yeah and I'm used to working as well so it's driving me crackers because I've not been exercising or nothing I think I'm going to have to start running uh, again I'll go, go on my own So we've got that one done. So I'm going to start back from here. So we're going to go dark to light. I think when I come in the middle, I'm going to be doing the same, switching them up, and hopefully it'll look okay. Obviously, the darker areas want to be around the edges and the lighter areas around here, I'm assuming. So hopefully it'll look okay. Like I said, it's a challenge for me because I've never done this kind of painting, uh, colouring before. So let's have a look. We're going to go dark around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in sections because obviously it's a big book. Um, so I'm going to film sections of it uh, rather than doing it in one big long video. And I might even do some um, time lapse videos of it as well. Right, so I want to go in with the second lightest colour. So yeah, apart from that, I've not really been doing a lot. I've uh, done some colouring. Um, I've been doing my Midnight Masquerade. I will show you, I'll show you in a minute. I've done the Midnight Masquerade uh, book by Hannah Carlson, which I love. I did a double spread page. And I have done a mystic art mirrors me uh, the one that i did on my channel with the purple skin but i've i've yet to finish it um i've uh, got to do some more of the galaxy wings in the background uh, but i will show you them in a minute uh, so apart from that apart from uh, just normal shopping getting stuff from house I've been reading and I've, I must have gone through about 10 books, I'm not joking, I have been reading a lot. And I think last time I spoke to you I was reading The Mortal Instruments, I've read the first six books of them. Then I went on to The Infernal Devices which is set beforehand, so it's set like in the uh, 1800s and I absolutely loved it. It's the favourite so far out of the series. Um, I just loved it. Uh, now I'm on to the, uh, inf what is it called, the Dark Artifices, or, uh, uh, yeah, Artifices, I think that's what they call it. And there's three books of that, so I'm on to that, and that follows off after the events of the last book in the Mortal Instruments, so it was the sixth book in the Mortal Instruments, and it follows some characters that were mentioned in that book in Los Angeles and it's took me halfway through the book just to warm up to the characters but now I've actually got warmed up to them and I'm really liking the book and then I've got the uh, new Chain of Gold book which is the spin-off from the Infernal Devices so I'm really looking forward to reading that one so I'm just adding some of the ginger So yeah, I've been on a reading marathon and I'm really wanting to colour all the time as well but my partner's wanting me to move my stuff because uh, he's wanting to do stuff in the house and that so even though 
I've got all time in world to colour really, I can't, I can't. <laughs> so I'm often to do it in bit by bit, I really need to get the spare bedroom done upstairs uh, into my own art room, uh, my colouring room kind of thing so I can set a desk up there and then I can go up there and do it whenever I want but at the minute it ain't going to happen because we need, we really need a skip and we need to clear everything out so... I'm just going to have to be patient and patient to get back doing my lives. And I hope everybody's doing well. I mean, we're near end of, we're near end of um, May now. And they reckon that they're opening shops and that back up in the UK in June. So, you know, I, I think things will gradually start to get back to somewhat normal, hopefully. Right. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think this book, looking at it, is it looks more challenging than what it actually is. Um, when you look at it, because of all the squares, but you honestly, it, it, the book is massive. It doesn't do it justice on camera how big it is. It is gorgeous though. I'm glad I am, I am glad I did get it. So let me have a look. So I think this is his chin here. Am I right? Yeah, this is part of his chin. So we'll follow again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a dark area around here and a little bit of dark this way. And we're going to go light into the middle for this one. So I'm just mixing up where I'm putting my dark areas just giving it a little bit of a mix up but I really do love these Artesia pencils they're gorgeous I really like them the colour goes down so well on this paper as well the dream fields on this paper Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch it down here and then I'm going to add some dark from this side. So we're kind of doing two little squares at once, or should I say rectangle shapes. So when I start to do these, I'm going to have to get a picture off the internet to do my references um, so I can see what colours each character is. But who don't love Disney? I absolutely adore Disney stuff. And I love Disney Disney um, t-shirts, um, you know, the Disney merchandise. I love it. I love all Disney. And it's same with Harry Potter as well. I like Harry Potter stuff. So I hope Nightwear and that, Disney or Harry Potter, you can't go wrong, can you? Like a big kid. Right, so then we're just going to add some of the ginger. So I know if I want to do a stained glass lamp, um, I think I've seen it on Colour with Claire's. She used one pencil and she did it dark. She put more pressure on and then faded off on her pressure. Um, and it looks like a more of a stained glass effect. But because I'm wanting to get my colours in here uh, to create this colour I'm using, I'm not wanting to obviously colour like that. I like to blend my colours. I 
and I quite like the effect. Right, so let me have a look. So I think for this bit, we're gonna go dark. Maybe a little bit of uh, dark shading in here, a little bit of dark shading here, and then we'll go lighter, see how that goes. Hopefully it'll look all right at the end. Just a little bit around curve at mouth. So I'm going to put some around here. Do you know with this, these pencils, I am not even putting um, a lot of pressure down at all. I am putting only a light pressure down and it's and I'm going back over the areas that I'm doing and it's building up a layer. So you don't even need, they are, they're really good and for price you can't go wrong with these Arkeeper pencils. And they don't break, I think they're brilliant. I really do. definitely work well with this paper I think if you used your softer pencils on these they'd really glide over the page I think they'd be really soft on them uh, I think this paper seems to be taking these um, oil more than I, I don't even think it is oil, it's wax, isn't it? I'm sure it's a wax pencil, uh, but it's an harder pencil than the uh, Prismacolors and it's taking the pencils really well. But I'm assuming oiled pencils would work nice on this paper as well. So with the lighter colour, I always put more of a pressure on just to blend around any edges or lines where I've ended with a darker colour. I think I'm going to add a little bit at the edge of the mouth. Only a touch. And then just blend it back in with the uh, lighter pencil. Lightest colour. hoping you can see that well in this light but yeah it's really nice I think on the camera it's looking more of the cool tone and I have actually got the house light on because I'm getting um, like a yellow cast off of my blind um, but it is actually really like a warm yellow in real life so it's really nice colour but it is we have got that like daylight kind of 
reflection on it, but it is a really warm yellow ochre colour. Right, so here we're just going to go dark around this area and then light to the middle. It's quite a bigger space as well. I'm going to have to have a look up to see what colour his nose is on <laughs> before I do this area. So I'm just fetching it darker from the corner. A little bit round this edge. Zoom in a little bit more. And then we're going to go in with the middle colour, which I always just use as a transition colour so you can blend into that lighter colour. And we're going to go really light pressure so we can put that lemon yellow down. If you can hear a noise in the background, you will have to excuse me. It is my partner, Miss Running Water, and we've got. We're having a bit of a problem with pipes to keep making a, a horrendous screeching noise and we've we're not wanting to get it we're not ringing them up and getting them to come and sort it until you know we don't want to inconvenience anyone there's enough going on in there uh, so we'll have to get it sorted at a better time when things start opening up again and then we'll get them to come and do it but every time it takes taps on, it's making a horrendous noise. It's upstairs in, in the, because uh, our bathroom's upstairs. So I'm just getting some of this ginger in. Sticking some in this corner. Where I want more of the the colour down, if I, if I want it really darker, I'll just put more pressure on. But like I said, with these pencils, I don't I don't even have to put that much pressure on, as seeing I'm not really going down onto that paper. Yeah, really loving it. Right, so we're going to do the outer edges. And then I'm going to, so I'm going to do his outer edges of the face for this video. And that's what I reckon I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back and do the nose, I think. Because I'm not actually sure what colour his nose is. Is it the same colour? I don't know. I don't even know if his nose is the same colour. I'm going to have to look at the picture and find out. Right, so the edges. So I'm going to add it dark around this bit. Fetch some of it round here.
another good thing about these pencils is as well is that uh, you can use them for quite a long time without the pencil going down which is a really good thing because I don't want to be sharpening them all the time because at the minute I don't believe that you can get sing single stock of these pencils and that is the only downfall of them so if I were to lose a pencil the only way for me to replace it were to uh, rather buy a smaller set with that pencil in or another big set I mean they are affordable, I mean it were like, I think it were around £60 for 120 but every time you lose a pencil you don't want to be paying out £60 do you? Uh, so I do like the fact that you, they don't, you don't need to sharpen them a lot. Uh, but according to, um, I did message Arteza and according to them they were going to be releasing the single stock pencils so I haven't heard out about it so hopefully that is actually true and they are going to be releasing it releasing them because I, I would definitely buy um, the single stock pencils I'm always replacing my Prismacolor pencils all the time this is why I don't buy any of the expensive pencils because I've got the polychromos but my most used pencil are the Prismacolors it doesn't matter what other brand I get the more expensive ones I always go back to the Prismacolors because I just find them they blend really well and if it ain't brought quite thick set they just, I just always go back to them pencils I like using them um, I'm used to the colours and my uh, colour combinations with them as well you know so if I go to other pencils and then I'm like oh well I'm, I, I actually prefer the colours in the uh, Prismacolors But after watching Colour Me Stress Free's video of uh, the Caran d'Ache Luminance, now for some reason, I don't know why, I always thought they were an hard pencil. I didn't realise they were soft like Prismacolors. Um, I'm tempted to buy a couple just to test them. And if I like them, I'm probably going to end up getting some around Christmas time. My partner says they'd get me it as a Christmas present because they are expensive. I mean, at minute, they're like 170, 180 pound on Amazon. And it's just expensive for pencils. And especially if I'm just gonna go back to using my Prismacolor pencils as well. And then it's another lot of pencils that I've got. And then obviously I'll be then buying the individual sets of them so the individual pencils when your colours go down but at the minute I'm forever buying Prismacolor the individual pencils I think it is uh, we like to have a change in what we colour with don't we definitely it, it is nice to colour with something different but these affordable for price you can't, I don't think you can really beat them I do like the castle arts as well. I'm actually going to show you them pictures, uh, what I've done. I'm going to zoom you out. So this this is what I've been doing. Uh, like I said, we've been fighting for time to colour in space because I haven't got um, a proper desk. I have to get my pull out desk and set my equipment up and then put it away. So this is the picture that I've been doing. And I've got a little tiny bit of area in between these leaves to do with some paint, uh, just some ice blue paint. I don't know if you're going to see on this crappy lighting, but this is done with Prismacolor Premier Pencils for the castle, for the sky, uh, for the clouds and the leaves, all done with Prismacolors. And the third that I did on the cat is done with Prismacolors. Then I've used, um, what did I use? I used Ice Blue Arteza watercolour paint for the uh, background. I wanted to make it like it had been snowing and iced over. Uh, so, it stops, so it stopped snowing and it's iced over in the background. And then I've just used watercolour for the trees. And then I went over with uh, metallic, like a, a white metallic 
colour. I don't, you're probably not even going to see it. I don't know if you can see that. And then I added some as well to the moon. So in real life, it, it is actually really shiny, the moon. Uh, but I'm really happy with how it came out. And the papers took the watercolour well. Well, I've just got a little bit of area around these leaves to do. And I'm, I do apologise if you can hear my partner in the background again. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how that one turned out. And this is the one I'm still working on. Um, I started it on my channel for the uh, purple skin tone. Now this hair, uh, I wanted a, I wanted something different and I was looking um, through some Instagram posts and I seen people doing like a darker blue and I couldn't find the colours that I wanted so I was looking through my combination book sheet and come across uh, some blues in the Castle Arts. Now if you wanted this combination it's out of the 120 Castle Arts set, the coloured pencils. Now, I've got a new group, which is um, Colour and Shine, Colour and Grow. And I've started to put every picture I do, I'm starting to log it down. And I'm putting it under me uh, in an album and all the colour combinations are there. So if you are interested in joining that Facebook group and coming and sharing your work, I will post the group title underneath in this description box. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me because my voice has gone croaky. But I absolutely love the colour of this hair. <clears throat> I might actually do a tutorial on how I did it. If anyone's interested in that. And the purple skin, I might do a full new picture. Right, so. We're going to go darker to light around the edge of his face. I'm going to zoom you back in. But yeah, that's what I've been doing. The um, Midnight Masquerade, I've uh, took my time with it. I've just been doing section by section. Um, it's took me a while to do it, I'm not going to lie. The uh, leaves and berries took ages, but I just wanted to do it slowly. Plus I've been reading as well, so that's took a bath of my time. So we've got dark around here and then we're going to go lighter. So I've just, like I said, just switching the positions of where I want the darkest areas to go. And then add in some of this ginger in.
Right, so I'm doing all this side dark. I'm just trying to position where I want my dark areas in this bit because we are near his eyes. So I'll just do it like that. We'll put some white area down here. Right guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the actual nose and I'm just going to finish the outer areas of the face and I'm going to do it in a time lapse uh, to speed it up and then I will do the rest and um, some more videos on this. So I'll do some more colouring charts and I might do some more uh, time lapses. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy and enjoy the rest of the video.
So for this section of the nose, I have removed the ginger which was my darkest colour and I'm now using the yellowed ochre as my darkest colour. I have also added cream into the coloured palette and the cream is going to go into the centre of the page just around where the nose is filled in black. I'm using the darker colour as usual around the edges of the nose and using my lighter colours into the middle and centre of the nose. I'm only using a very light pressure on the paper and building my layers up to get that colour and that's allowing my next colour that I'm going down to easily blend. So thank you for watching my video and I really hope you enjoy the rest of this time lapse and I shall see you all again soon.